What's up folks, Freddie Wong here, internet superstar and Adobe products user here at Adobe Max 2018 in Los Angeles this is Adobe's big conference and I came prepared. That's right, the premier socks. The only pair of socks I own. <laughs> They look cool, that look cool. Actually, it was one of the jokes. It's like, what's harder, getting someone to watch a new Netflix show or getting someone to listen to, listen a, podcast? to a podcast? It's way harder. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. Shoot, what do I draw? There's some high level art here. <laughs> Adobe Max this year was fun, crowded, there was a lot of cool stuff to see, a lot of cool vendors. If I were to sum up, I think, what the takeaway from this year's event was, it would be that AI and machine learning seems to be making its way into touching creative workflows with the goal of making repetitive, annoying tasks that we have to do easier and faster. You know, anything that can make the boring parts of uh, the creative sort of aspect of editing or motion graphics or visual effects faster in my book, like I'll take that any day of the week. Let's talk about what's coming into Premiere. I think for me, the two things I'm looking forward to are intelligent audio cleanup and some improvements to Lumetri Color. For audio cleanup side, they're adding D-verb and D-noise into the Essential Sounds panel. For us, you know, I think having the, those tools, as many of those tools within Premiere as possible, just makes your life as a sort of shooter editor like a thousand times easier. It just makes that end result uh, a lot better. Lumetri Color's adding uh, some more granular tools in terms of the curves, in terms of like two-dimensional, two-axis sort of color correction stuff, so hue versus saturation, hue versus hue, that sort of stuff. Uh, very useful and something that I think we, we expect to be using quite a bit. And of course, as always with every single release, they're, they're doing some more hardware support for H.264, they're improving their rendering for Lumetri and all that stuff. So just so overall, hopefully a little bit snappier, a little bit faster. After Effects, After Effects. I'll tell you the one thing that I saw uh, for After Effects that I'm the most excited about is that Mocha is finally built into After Effects. We don't have to round trip and like, <laughs> ignore the registration card every single time you click on use Mocha, finally cell phone shots and our computer monitor shots are gonna go a lot faster. In addition to that, they're doing more stuff with the Puppet Tool. We've used Puppet Tool for the face morph effect. Obviously, that's sort of not the way most people use Puppet Tool. I think most people use Puppet Tool for animating sort of 2D characters, stuff like that. Again, that's gonna be very helpful for doing those kinds of animations as well. Expression Engine's finally in JavaScript. GPU acceleration is also going into the After Effects stuff as well. They're doing nine more plugins and stuff is getting faster. I mean, what more do you want? We run a podcast called Story Break and we run that through Adobe Audition. Uh, the audio cleanup tools that I talked about in Premiere also showing up uh, in Audition. Any sort of tool that can just intelligently reduce noise and clean up the reverb on that stuff is going to save us a lot of time. So that's something that we're going to be utilizing right away. So that's everything we're looking forward to on Adobe Audition, Premiere, uh, and After Effects. One more note on the Premiere side is that they're doing something called Premiere Rush, which is actually really interesting to me having talked to a lot of YouTube content creators. A lot of the professional features in Premiere, you're never really going to touch generally if you're doing a lot of YouTube stuff. So Premiere Rush is a multi-platform across tablets, phones, desktop, editing program that lets you just do a lot of the basic editing stuff, like sequencing and laying music down and all that stuff a lot faster. So for anybody out there that's doing like YouTube video or Facebook video, have a look at Premiere Rush. I think that it is a piece of software that will be very useful and hopefully save you a little bit of time so you can have like a little bit of life. Anyway, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. You can see our stuff at youtube.com slash rocket jump and follow me on Twitter. I'm F Wong on Twitter. Bing! I didn't add it. <laughs> <laughs>